Christine Horn, your life and career coach. And today I am sharing with you one of the most important questions you should ask when you are prepping an audition. When you have a scene, it doesn't matter if it's for film, television, commercials, there are a series, I got all these flips. <laughs> There's a series of questions that I always ask before I prep an audition. And hey, Tanika, can you hear me? Because you're the first one. Tanika Porter in the house. Let me know if you can hear me. Just give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Thank you. What's up? <sighs> so that's what I'm talking about today. One of the most important questions you can ask when you're prepping an audition. So stay tuned. Listen, this is Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 79. Welcome. If this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. My name is Christine Horn. I'm a professional working actress of over 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors. And what does that mean for you? That means I'm sharing audition tips, acting tips, life coaching tips to help you get to where you want to go, right? I'm not holding these secrets hostage. <laughs> Thank you, Tanika. She says she can hear me. Thank you. I'm not holding these secrets hostage. There are things that I have done to get to where I am in my career, and I want to share those with you. That is why I'm here. That is why I do this. And to all my replay watchers who are going to watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. My lip gloss is popping. Okay. The important stuff is done. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. <laughs> Oh man, happy Monday, right? Let me just start there. <sighs> happy Monday. So, I'm so glad you guys are watching. Yes. So, here, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, if you, I'm not talking crazy to myself. If you want to leave me a comment, please just type hello. Say, hey girl, your hair is cute. I like your whips, wisps. Say hi, I just want to know where you're watching from, where in the world you're watching, because I want to make sure I can respond to you. But let's get right into it. When you get an audition, and like I said, I typically, when I'm giving you tips, I focus a lot on TV and film because that is my sweet spot. But I have performed on Broadway. I have done musicals. I have done straight dramas. So keep this all in mind for whatever arena that you are in. Cool? Cool. But when you get a script, and I, let me not say script. Let me say sides. Sides is, are another word for scene, right? If you don't know the lingo, when you get an audition, they send you what they call sides, S-I-D-E-S. -E that is a, another word for scene. You don't, you rarely get a full script. I mean, rarely. Back in the day, they used to do that, but with social media and people leaking, you know, plot lines, it is rare you get a full script unless you like the star of the show or something like that. So get used to it. So you get an audition. Bam. So excited to have an audition. And they give you like three, three pages or maybe two pages or maybe one page. And maybe out of the four pages they send you, there's a bunch of stuff crossed out. And you're like, I'm supposed to create a character from this. And where do I start? <laughs> Can you resonate with that? Have you ever been in that position? Say yes, give me a type yes. Hit the like button so I know you're watching. And Facebook, you know, gives me points when they see people like these videos. That means they will allow other actors and other people to watch this video. So just by hitting like, you are helping other actors see this video. Thank you so much, okay? So I have a whole training that I do on breaking down a new scene flat when you get it in your email from your agent or if you self-submit. So I'm not gonna get into all the steps today, but I am gonna share with you one of the major questions that I always ask, right? And the question is this, what is my relationship to the other character or characters in the scene? So I don't care if this is a commercial, I don't care if it's film, TV, theater, musical, doesn't matter. You are in a scene, unless it's just a monologue, you are by, unless you're by yourself, you are in a scene with someone else, right? And it's very important for you to understand what the relationship is between you and that other person. And let me go a little bit deeper. Again, this is not the only question, but this is one of the main questions that I personally ask. So I don't give a crap if it's one line. You need to understand what the relationship is because that is going to affect how you deliver your lines. That is going to affect how your character is built. So for an example, just for fun, you want to try an example? Yes? Yes. Awesome. Again, give me some likes, some thumbs up. You are watching Actors Daily Bread. I respond to every single comment, so don't be shy. Let me know you're watching, okay? So what, what can I make up? What line can I give you guys? I had it in my head before. What do I want to say? Um, um, dang. 
somebody type a line. God, I just I just had it in my head. I want to say something that's kind of neutral. Um, okay, for instance, let's just play. Let's just say the line. Say you have a script. You got it. You got an audition. It's one line. Let's say the one line is, "Hey, I've been waiting on you." Okay. Let's just pretend that's the that's the line. Hey, I've been waiting on you. So do this on your own. Just, I want you to think in your head how you would say it, right? Go ahead and say it out loud to yourself. <laughs> so, right. So if I was, so let's just say your name is John or your name is Jenny. So depending on if you're a man or woman watching, whatever, right? So you walk in the scene. Hey, I've been, I've been waiting on you. So I just did that, right? But I don't have any backstory. So I have to create some backstory. And again, there's other questions I would ask. But first and foremost, maybe this scene is with Austin. Austin is the person who walks in the room. So maybe I'm doing something else. And Austin walks in the room. I look up and say, hey, I've been waiting on you. But can you see how this would change? So now I'm going to throw some different scenarios at you just for fun. Okay, this is very loose fun. So Austin walks in the room. Let's just say I hate Austin. Austin gets on my nerves. I think he's annoying. I can't stand him. He walks in. Hey, been waiting on you. Maybe I have a secret crush on Austin. How does that change it? I want you to do this with me at home. How does it change it? Now you have a crush on Austin. Hey, I've been waiting on you. Right? So maybe you want to kill Austin. <laughs> right? I don't know. Uh, uh, right? Let's say you want to kill Austin. So you look up and you, you know, you, you're doing something a little suspicious. Hey, I've been waiting on you. <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy here in my house by myself. But you see where I'm going with this? Let's see. What's some other things we could throw up? Um, Maybe I'm scared of Austin. Austin arrives and same line, right? Austin walks in, you're doing your thing, and you see him. Hey, um, I I've been waiting on you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm really being silly with this. I would not submit a tape like that. However, what I'm trying to ex to expose you to is the is the uh, is the change that can happen just by you changing the relationship. So if you don't know what the relationship is, you can I'm getting laughs. Y'all laughing at me. That's okay. This is real. I'm using a very silly example, but this is what happens. Some of you are getting scripts and you're just so worried about memorizing. I'm going to memorize it and be good and be cute, make sure my makeup is good, make sure, make sure I look sharp, but you're not focusing on what the relationship is with the other person because just by twitching it, just by flipping it, or as my coach Vince Fazani, shout out to you, would say, just by tilting it, we adjust the whole scene and it can become magical. It can become, it can become something mysterious because the truth is when you get one page, no script, it's due tomorrow, co-star, guest star. They know you don't know. They have given you a breakdown. They may have said, Jenny is 20s, cute, receptionist. What am I supposed to do with that? You have to make it up. But that is your job as an actor, and that is the most fun. And I, I got to say this, y'all. And thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the likes. That was just for that. That was a special dance. So the more hearts and, and likes I get, the more dancing you're going to get. <laughs> oh god I took my silly pill today but I'm, I'm serious <laughs> oh gosh I love doing these videos you guys have no idea <laughs> but they know you don't know they know you just got the scripts on Friday oh my gosh I had to be on set y'all you guys know I was shooting a sitcom last week I will tell you more about that when I can I was shooting a sitcom. I had to be on set at three. A last minute audition came up, three pages. I had to be there within the hour. You know, like they know you don't know, but they are bringing you in because you're a professional and they hope you will just do your job. They hope you will be an actor. I want you to take the stress out of this. There are natural stressors that come with this career, 
the last minute stuff, sitting in traffic. But the discovery should be something that is so much fun. And if you find that the discovery is not fun, get out now. I'm not being dramatic. Just stop. When I was on set Friday, I was on set with some heavy hitters, some veterans, and this shit don't slow up. Excuse my language. The grind only changes. You understand what I'm saying? Before I booked a co-star, I wanted this, and then I got this, and then I got this, and I got that. The grind only changes. The grind does not stop. So if you don't enjoy, and the reason why I love being silly and funny is because this is the fun part. I can't, when I get a new script, I'm like, oh, I get to Google it and, and figure out the characters. And I only have three pages, so I have to make up this woman. I have to make up this character. Give her a whole backstory. I'll give you a bonus tip. If you want a bonus tip, put hashtag bonus in the, in the comments so I know you're here and I know you're watching. A bonus tip for you is, and again, I have a whole training I'm going to do on this, and I promise to share it with you soon, about how I break down a whole script from top to bottom. Because that's a big question I get from a lot of my clients is, I get one page or three pages or ten pages, but not the whole script. And how do I make this come to life? Thank you, Nikki. Oh, oh Choa? Did I say that right? Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> hey, Rose Young. Hey, Marilly. Marilly? Marilly? You are on here live? I... <laughs> But really, I was always get so excited when my replay watch is all online because it's like so rare. Hey, Moya Angela. <laughs> so here's your bonus tip, okay? This is this little secret thing I always give my private clients when I'm coaching them. So we do all these other questions, and one of them is, what is a relationship? But the bonus question is, hey, Lisa. One of the bonus questions is, what is your character hiding? I'm going to say it again. What are you hiding? That's the thing a lot of actors don't do, and I want you to start doing it. Start asking. So you got all the other questions, right? I'm not going to get into those today. You ask, what is my relationship with this person or these people? But then what are they hiding? So using our same example from a few minutes ago, and the line is, uh, Austin, um, hey, I've been waiting on you. Or so, I think that was my line, right? What am I hiding? So if I go to just... If I go to, let's just pretend I'm, I go back to the character version where my character has a crush on Austin. That's what I'm choosing to do. And before I go any further, you heard what I just said. That's what I'm choosing to do. Casting directors, producers, directors, they just want you to make a choice. They know you don't have all the answers. And listen, hey, thank you for all of you who are sharing this video. Hit the share button, hit the like button, make sure Actors Daily Bread gets out to the world. I'm putting in good work here and I want more people to hear about it. Thank you. Another dance for you. <laughs> okay, so you hear what I'm saying? Choose. They want you to make a choice. Your choice may be wrong, but when you make a strong choice, a casting director I read for last week who booked me on the pilot in the first audition, she said, Christine, I really like the choice that you made with this character. The character was supposed to be a Latina. I go in the room with all these Latina. And I booked it. I was like, y'all know I am who I am. So, but I was so grateful for that. I made a choice. So I want you to make a choice. So this is how you make another choice. Ask, what are you hiding? So given my example earlier with the character who liked Austin, and if you're not understanding this, just watch this when I when this ends. So we pretended the line is, hey. I've been waiting on you. And we just threw a little extra something that maybe this character likes Austin. So she's like, hey, I I've been waiting on you. But what is she hiding? What is the secret she's hiding? So just for fun, this is the stuff I do when I'm prepping. Maybe right before he walked in, You know what my brain first went to? It was like, maybe she was picking her nose. <laughs> Here comes this guy that she likes and she just finished like, and she's like, hey, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But my point is maybe, maybe her secret is that she slept with his brother. Maybe her secret is that she's been stealing from the company, right? So she likes him, but there's this secret. And again, no one's gonna know this. This is all that 
you know, inner monologue stuff, your own motivation. No one's ever going to know this. You're not going to walk into the casting room or say on yourself, say, hey, I believe that she's been. No, all I'm saying, what I'm this <laughs> Marilee's laughing at me. I'm sharing this with you. The question is, what are you hiding after you've done all the other work? What are you hiding lads adds a level of mystery? You see what I mean? It adds a level of mystery. And the casting director and the producers, they won't know what it is, but it will just be something about you that's different. So I hope that makes sense to you. And I know I'm very animated because, y'all, I love this, in case you can't tell. This is, I just, I love it. I got a new audition that I just printed out and I can't wait to do this work with it. You must, hear me, you must enjoy this journey. You must enjoy this work. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. And whenever you get tired of this, I want you to take a break from acting. I want you to go do something else. Take a knitting class, a sewing class, a singing class, an improv class, something else, and take a break and come back refreshed. Because if you don't enjoy this part, it's gonna show in your tapes. It's gonna show when you walk in the room. And then you're gonna say, Christine, I don't know why I'm not booking. I, I, I wanna book, I need to book. And I'm gonna ask you, are you enjoying the process? So I hope this has been helpful. This is Actors Daily Bread. I'm Christine Horn, your life and career coach. Come visit me at christinehorn.com. And I made a huge announcement yesterday, if you missed it. I have launched the Get Booked Mastermind Group for Actors. A lot of you out there are on a budget. You know, you're living off residuals, or you got a nine to five and you're barely making it, but you want coaching that you feel like you can't afford it. $20 a month, the amount you spend on a latte or some bad fast food, you can get weekly coaching from me and a monthly live q a a private facebook community and accountability from other actors it's important that you are accountable to your own career and if you work with people who are in the same mix you'll be so surprised at how far you will get i have the link above getbookedpowercall.com 20 dollars a month and if you won't invest 20 dollars a month in your acting career and you don't have a coach or anything else then you have to check your priorities you don't have to coach with me i always say that but I've been trying to find a way to be of value to my community. I love you guys, but I can't be live every day, all day, right? I try to pop on. But if you want some accountability from me, weekly coaching, so that you can stop saying, what should I work on this week? How, what should I do? I'm giving you a solution. I know everybody can't afford my hourly rates. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can come to christinehorn.com and certainly sign up and work with me monthly, every three months. But if that's not in your budget at this moment, I get it. But I want you to find $20. Ask your mama, cousin, friend, them, and come join me and get some weekly coaching. And I will be more than happy to guide you. All right? If you miss any part of this Actors Daily Bread, just wait a few minutes. It will replay and you can catch the whole thing. This was a good one today, if I do say so myself. All right, let me go. <laughs> Bye, you guys.